These pants have just gotten to be too large for me. So I'm gonna use them as an example of how to resize the waist of a pair of pants. And in the process of scaling my pants down, I'm gonna show you how you could also scale them up if you wanted to. That's my logo. Great song editing corn. Let's keep it moving. I'm gonna start by taking off all of the belt loops because in the end, I'm gonna to need to reposition them once I've resized the whole waist. Next, in the back here, I'm going to undo this bottom stitch of the waistband. Top stitching first, of course, and then take it off all together. And I've taken it off all the way around past the two side seams and around to the front. The reason being is I'm going to take some out of the back here, but also a bit out of the sides. In general, when I'm taking things apart, I always go further than I think I need to because in the end, I end up needing the space in order to be able to sew things back together comfortably. On the outside of the pants, I'm going to pin roughly how much I want to take out, essentially sort of mimicking what the final fit will be. This way I don't hurt myself with pins on the inside of the pants. Doing it in the back here, on the side seams as well. And then, time for a fit test. I do like the amount I'm taking out, but I might end up taking a little less out of the back here because I'm finding that this side seam is running a little bit too far to the back and I want it a little bit more forward. So less out of here, more out of here to create balance. And I'm gonna measure how much I'm taking out, both in width and in height, in all three sections, of course. Take the needles out, I flip the pants inside out, and then from that seam there, that stitch, I'm gonna copy over my measurements. Okay. And then draw that in. Repeat with the other two seams. And then it's time to sew. I'm gonna start down on the leg and work my way to the top. And I suggest feeling for the pocket on the other side if it's underneath to make sure it's lying nice and flat. Front pocket that is. I do like to double stitch just for a bit of extra strength in this area. Let's do a quick fit check one more time just to make sure they fit just how we want them to. I'm gonna remove that old stitch because it no longer serves a purpose and it's just in the way for all three sections, of course. Using my tailor's ham, I'm going to press this extra seam allowance out to sit nice and flat. I do also like to run a stitch along the top here just to hold that all in place. It'll make putting on the waistband later a little easier. Now it's time to deal with this waistband Starting at the one side, I'm gonna put the waistband in place and just pin to hold temporarily until I get to the center back here. I'm gonna mark that spot. Then I repeat from the other side, working my way to the middle. Again, I make a mark and then from here, I'm going to find the middle and mark that off. And then I simply cut it open straight from top to bottom. Now, if you're a waistband like mine has top stitching, we're going to want to get rid of some of that. I'm again going to transfer the measurements from the outside to the inside. 
I do that on both sides, of course. Then with right sides touching each other, I'm going to line those up. I run a stitch from top to bottom. Double check just to make sure it's all still the right size. Trim off some of that extra fabric. Press this to lie flat as well. Snip away some of that extra fabric. It is going to get a bit heavy in this area. And then fold that over. Press it as well. And then we can attach this waistband back onto the pants again. So I'm going to flip this inside out and we're going to reattach it in two stages just for a cleaner finish. So I'm going to flip the waistband backwards like so and then flip it open like that and make sure both pieces are centered. Pin that in place and proceed to line it up in one direction and do the same thing in the opposite direction. Then from the center here, I'm going to sew out in either direction, but of course I can't sew all the way to the end where things are attached. So I'm going to sew up until about an inch and a half, two inches away from where it's already connected. When I go in the opposite direction, I can just flip it upside down. We can now flip this around like so. Flip the pants around. Then let's press this seam to lie upwards, nice and flat. Fold over that waistband. Align it real nice. Pin it in place. Starting where the stitch leaves off, I simply top stitch from there all the way around over to the other side. And the key is to make sure that this seam catches both this top layer but also the underside. So I align this folded edge just below that seam that we did previously. I replace that top stitch as well. Finally, we attach the belt loops. Just a good old fashioned zigzag on both sides. We want to leave just a little bit of slack for the belt to go through. Typically, there's one dead center in the back. The two on the side are just behind the side seam. And then the two in the front, you want about, oh, three inches out. If you go too far out, the buckle's gonna rise up on you throughout the day. To size up the pants, we'd follow the exact same procedure as sizing down. So if you skipped ahead, go back and rewatch it. Uh, but instead of taking out fabric, of course, we're going to add it in. And we do it in two of the steps. The first one is when we remove fabric around the waist, we're just going to add some in. Earlier corn, please elaborate. I would also undo the seam in the back here and the seams on the side as well. And essentially, I would be using this extra seam allowance in those three spots as the extra fabric to add back in. So between this seam here and on the sides, moving that stitch out as close to the edge as I can, I could easily add back in an inch, even an inch and a half of extra width around. If I needed to add even more fabric in, I would start by undoing the bottom hem. Then I would undo the full side seam on the outside of the leg 
and essentially sew in a strip of fabric on both legs, of course, as much as I needed. It could be a matching fabric. The thing about creativity is to make things look intentional, so maybe doing something completely different, a bit of style. The second time we're going to add in fabric is when we reattach the waistband. Back to earlier corn again. We're going to add in fabric in this cut here on the waistband and we're going to add in however much we need to compensate for what we added to the pants. If you added in some extra fabric down the side of the leg, instead of cutting it in the back in the middle here, I would do that on both sides on the side of the leg, adding in the same amount as the extra fabric I added in. So on this side and on this side here. Editing corn, let's uh, take a look at a few shots of these resized pants. As the person wearing these pants, I am quite happy with how they fit. They feel nice and just snug enough, but not too tight, and not too loose. I've uh, now got a whole <laughs> wardrobe of pants I need to resize. Thank you to everyone who supports me as a YouTube member or over on Patreon. Whichever one you join, you can also get access to uh, my sewing group chat. I would like to give a special shout out to all of these top tier supporters. Thank you so much. It is greatly appreciated. If you're still here, there's another video for you to watch if you're interested as curated by the algorithm. Blee blue, blee blue.